Liam Hewson from monumentphotos.co.uk. I am a professional freelance photographer based in the west of Scotland. Uh, this week I was delighted to be awarded uh, my AMPA, the Associateship of the Master Photographers Association. I specialise in portraits and weddings, um, but I'm going to talk you through some of the process involved just to let you see what goes on behind the scenes uh, and working towards an award of that level. Now when any photographer puts together their panel of images, it has to be 20, I uh, printed on 12 by 10 and mounted on card. They will then be displayed in two rows. The top row has to be 10 images from 10 different photo shoots. Okay, the bottom row has to be 10 images made up from two different photo shoots, five from one and five from another. Now the panel of judges uh, are at the highest level, uh, all fellowship of the master photographers all world-renowned photographers themselves. They will be looking for various aspects in your work and uh, those include things like the creativity. At the associate level, they have to see a style developing in your work that makes it uniquely uh, your work. They're also going to be looking at technical ability, so we'll take into consideration how your lights were set up and what camera gear did you use and so on. You have to actually submit a working profile booklet which shows diagrams of how you created each of your images. Uh, they'll also be looking for post-processing. Okay, they want to see how your pictures were edited, make sure the standard of your uh, editing work is very high, whether you're using black and white, they're looking for a, a great print quality, or whether you're using uh, colour, they'll be looking for uh, your colour balance and so on. So it's very important that each one of those images is uh, beautifully printed as well. And the last thing we'll be doing is actually checking that the panel itself works as a piece of artwork. Okay, as you look at each image it should be extremely strong but as a set they're also going to be looking for uh, a kind of cohesive look, something that ties it all together and matches. So there's a lot to be considered when putting together that panel. Every um, photographer, I suppose, has a, a unique approach to the, to the photo shoots that they do. I personally come from a, an illustration and digital art background and uh, I tend to like to sketch out some ideas first. Uh, I'll get an iPad Pro and I'll just sit there and I'll draw away some concepts and some storyboards for each of the photo shoots. I'll then take that to the next level and uh, try and envisage further in my head what I want the, the, the final uh, piece to look like and then we'll start bringing in different components and thinking about how that's all going to go together. When I was um, photographing last year in Royal Concert Hall in Glasgow, I met a, a lovely musician, Yuan Lee, a violist, and we decided to work together um, and create some real portfolio pieces, and she was a joy to work with, and we tried to raise the bar with the photo shoot and give her lots of variety. So that then became one of the, uh, the sets of five images for my panel. I decided for the other set of five images I would work with another musician. I, I was delighted to meet Amelia Josephine Jones, who's a singer, actress, dancer, very talented girl, uh, but she also is a cellist. So we decided to do another uh, similar set of photographs and uh, again we, we had a look at um, different concepts and styles that would work uh, to give her some commissioned pieces and were delighted with how the whole photo shoot had turned out. Now for my set of 10 images, um, I thought long and hard about what to do and uh, in the past I've illustrated over 20 or 30 children's storybooks uh, on biblical based themes and uh, I had a current commission from the Bible Society to put together uh, some images for, for more books so I decided to use um, that theme and off the back of that project we started to put together some images of some uh, portraits of biblical characters so one by one uh, various people from different walks of life, some professional models uh, some were friends that I called on to pose for me to put together this panel and uh, the results uh, I think speak for themselves, they were great looking characters and brilliant fun to work with and with every single one of those photo shoots we tried to just do something unique uh, get some powerful lighting. It's funny how a, a project can sometimes uh, evolve 
when I first conceived ideas, I imagined them all to be full colour and we, we thought we'd do them chroma key with some pyramids in the background and some palm trees and, and go all out there. But as the, as the project developed, I um, realised that just simplifying them down was, was much stronger. And also going for a black and white theme I really had a, a, an impact and the images themselves I think just worked so well together um, in that format. They sat really well with the musician photographs when we put them all together as a black and white panel which I think is, uh, has really became a speciality here at Monument Photos. MPA two years ago, I never quite realised how fast the learning curve would be. I knew at that time my, my work was strong, um, but I feel that it's got so much stronger over the last couple of years. I, last year I was awarded licentiate I, as a portrait photographer, and also at the Birmingham show this year I was awarded licentiate in the wedding category, which was a huge honour. But to have associateship um, is something that I never believed would have been possible before. It's a terrific honour. And I also really benefited from the mentoring system. I want to say a special thanks not only to all my models, but especially to Ray Lowe, the chairman of the MPA, who was my mentor throughout the process this year. And he's been invaluable. His critique and his, his advice has been really hard hitting, but he's also been so committed and dedicated to uh, giving of his time to help me reach this standard. So thanks Ray. And uh, anyone watching this video, if you're um, interested in photography, then certainly the MPA would be a, a great place for you to go. I think any photographer who wants to be the best that they can be in the field should definitely consider joining the MPA. Uh, I know from my own experience I've met some, some amazing people. Uh, and I think the creativity and the energy when other master photographers, when we get together, it's just something that really works. Uh, we can all appreciate each other's success and learn from each other and that whole community uh, is something I'm, I'm really proud to be part of. The motto of the MPA is together we are stronger and uh, I found that experience to be completely true.